today at some massive new buildings in my ever-growing city, create an innovative new farm design, and build a museum for all of my world's custom items. Welcome to my hardcore Minecraft series. First up is a massive new tower. I have a really weird idea for this, but I think it might just work. Roll the time lapse. I don't like having builds that exist just to take up space. I want my builds to build alive and functional, so in this new building, I'm going to be making a cocoa bean farm. I want to try to make a cocoa bean farm here, but I also want to try designing my own. And I do have a concept in my head, cocoa farms are pretty simple, and they have a lot of bone meal, so I was thinking we'd make a bone meal based design. I was thinking maybe the player would stand here, then just place cocoa beans, and then when the system detects it, it gets picked up by an observer. And meanwhile, we'd also have two output devices over here and here. And this side would have more of a delay because there'd be an observer here that leads into a dispenser. And then right here, we'd have redstone dust. What about this? Oh, that actually works. Seeing then we have pistons here and here. And the repeater would wait until that happens. I think it'll actually set it to two ticks. And then... It'll attempt to power both pistons at the same time, and the only one that will power is the one that's not already powered. What about a sudden like this? We have another observer here that detects the dust changing. Okay. This is progress. This is progress. Oh wait, I could I don't even need delay in this. They could just literally have these fire at the same time. It doesn't even need to lay in this circuit specifically. Yeah, look at that. It just instantly goes full. That works. We really needed the teeth flip flop, but I don't know how to make those unless we have a copper lamp. I believe that if we change this block right here to a target, it will fire the signal downwards. Yo! Yo, it works, it works! It does something, it does something. Okay. Ooh, the idea of a quick on and off pulse actually could work really well. So right now we put cocoa beans in. <laughs> yeah, this is a looping machine now. Okay, this is actually a really cool farm. I designed this myself, and I'm actually quite proud of it. This is a cool little mechanism. I love how, like, it bone melts it really quickly, and all of can dispense right here. It is now several hours later, and I've drastically improved it, and so I think that now it's as fast as I can get it. And also, I've kept the redstone compact to a 3x3x3 cube. Well, 3x3 square with a little bit of extra height. And so if we get some cocoa beans from here, and then stand on the select turn, and then we just hold on right click. And the farm is a little inconsistent, you may need to try a few times to get it working, but let's see we got it night now. There we go, now you can see it in action. As you can see, as soon as they grow, they immediately get harvested. It uses a lot of bone meal, but it's also super quick and gives you a ton of cocoa beans. Look at all of these. I want to spruce up the interior of this build even more. Let's get into another time lapse of properly decorating this new cocoa bean farm. And it is now day 5900, and the build, well, I mean, these two buildings, is complete. Or, maybe are complete, because there's two of them. And it's also day 5900. We're really close to 6000. It's a bit weird how, um, every thousand day milestone, I seem to be finished with the project. It's a bit weird how the last 200 day milestones have both been right when I finished the project, so that's cool. But anyway, we have this little building here, which looks a bit like a workshop. I was originally going to make it a workshop, but I didn't really want to do that, just didn't really fit the vibe. I'll do that again later, and it turned into more of a house, and we have a horse hole here with my horse king. There's also a ladder with a room I forgot to decorate. Just pretend that I decorated it. We also have this building here, which is a really unconventional style, and I really like how it turned out. And it was out of my comfort zone for sure, but I think it turned out pretty well, actually. Yeah, you might be wondering how I got this custom shading like that, and it actually isn't my shaders. If I toggle vanilla lighting, it's still vanilla lighting. Because this is brown stained glass panes all throughout the building. This is the cocoa bean farm I showed you, and in the time lapse you just saw, I transformed it into a bit of an art exhibit. 
as you saw in the time lapse again i tried to hide the red sun and then i was like yeah whatever this is in the middle of the room ain't no way i'm hiding this and making it look convincing such good and so that those two builds done and if you like the way this builds looked or appreciate my cool cocoa bean farm design maybe you should consider liking and subscribing it's free and it helps it a ton if you change your mind later you can always undo it and even if you dislike this video you can always if you dislike it you can suck to criticism just please keep it constructive minecraft's default path blocks are cool but they don't really work for this build let's switch them out for a better palette and also expand my path network to reach our newest builds As you may already know, I use a resource pack to import custom models into my world through renaming sheets of paper. This process is called CIT. There are several custom models already in my world and more on the way. I want somewhere to document and show off these items, so let's build a museum to house these artifacts. I found something a bit strange. I saw something on the ground and I thought it was a trapped item that gave me a sword because I might bed my head. However, no, swords are in inventory and this thing is moving around. And then I started hearing the sounds. I turn on subtitles, you can hear it. Villager murmurs. This is a raid party. <laughs> this flag is clipping to the ground. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna weird animal. Probably a side effect of fresh animations, but still, that is very funny. <laughs> it's just like clipping into the ground, clipping out of existence. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. He be in motion. He be going, he be going. Oh, he going, he going. Woo! He be drifting. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring y'all in for that absolute goofiness, what the heck? Man, Minecraft mobs is something else, I swear. Enough goofing around, it's time to actually get back to building. And the build is done. Well, kind of. Let me explain. So, as you see here, the build's exterior is complete, and I think it turned out really well, actually. I'm quite proud of how this looks. But if you go up to, for example, one of these windows, and notice that the interior is, um, <clears throat> lacking, to say the least. Yeah, it's not looking great. But I have a good reason for that. You see, this museum isn't just going to last for what CIT have made so far, which is very little. This will have enough room to fit all of the CIT for the foreseeable future. And so I'm planning to decorate this room as I get to it. And if I had more time, I might have sectioned out the build a little more. But look what Minecraft 8 is! 5,998! Two days away from day 6,000! And I also am lacking quite a lot in some materials such as jungle wood I'm completely out of, so... I'm also gonna do some material gathering. But for now, you can see that... So as you can see here, you have all the stuff from episode 31, all the stuff from episode 32, 
and all the stuff from this episode, episode 33, which is just this arrow, which you can see just dotted around through all the museum, and a blank spot, which is intentional, because right now, I'm going to design something to put here. Alright, so I'm now on block bench, which is the program I used to make all of my custom models and textures, so let's do create a new model. Yep, all that looks good, java block slash item. And then we're going to add a cube, which is going to be 32 by 32. We're going to actually scale it up in the display of the item frame. We're going to need to make it smaller. And then size Y will be up to 8. So it's a block tall. And then I was also going to do create a new Minecraft skin. And just see if I can't import my existing skin. I have a file selecting thing open, but I don't want to show you all my files, of course. There we go. And then I do convert project to Java block dash item the entire group and copy it over into this project. Great, looks perfect. And these arms are going to be rotated a little bit just to make it look like I'm holding something. And then I'm going to make a new project, which is a Minecraft title, and I'm going to say 6,000 days. Texture, beveled gold, sure. Overlay, ooh, shine looks nice. I'll go back to this model and then do file, import, open, import open project, Minecraft title. And then we have this right here. And then I also need to make this custom textured. Cube, create texture. Yep. And now that we have one side finished, I can show you all a cheeky little trick where if we go to the edit tab, we can set south, east, west, and north, all of the same spot, and then all the sides display the same texture. And now I'll go back to the top and make a bit of a tileable version of this brickish thing right here. Okay, and I'm now back in game, and the new texture should be in my resource pack. Now I'm going to just get some paper and rename it to 6k day statue. It works! Boom! Nice, okay. It's a little in the ground, but that's okay, because yeah, we need it to be in the ground for everything to fit properly, because unfortunately we can't go past that display size. And then, for the last thing of today's episode, I'm just going to place this down in the museum. So yeah, we've got this new statue here, this arrow, and a lot of other CIT stuff in the CIT museum. All the CIT items I've made in this world. And then we have our old 5,000 Days Monument, but I didn't build that today. And this is what the museum looks like from the outside. I really like how this turned out. And so yeah, what a fun episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.